Hey everyone, I hope everybody's staying safe out there and having a good day. Uh, what I want to do for you today is a custom flipping jig. In the vise we have a custom flip head. It's three quarter ounce with a 5 aught Mustad 32796 heavy wire flat eye hook. Uh, you see the eye on this is recessed. Uh, again, this is a custom head, so uh, it isn't a do-it model. You'd have to go to the mold maker to get this. Um, I could provide that information for you, uh, should anybody want it. Anyway, uh, this is one that I did for Steve. He likes uh, targeting larger fish and flipping heavy cover. This head really works well with that, especially in this three-quarter ounce size. So we're going to, the color is black, and the pattern we're going to do is uh, what I call blue on black. Uh, it's, it's a little different take on a traditional black-blue jig. So we're going to get started with some 210 denier flat wax nylon thread. And get a little bit of a base started. Take that little bit off. Oh, we didn't get it all. I thought I did. Sometimes you get those little extra strands on the thread as a, if you don't cut every little piece because uh, it is made up of individual fibers. So that could happen. Anyway, the first thing we're going to do, this is going to be a 60 strand skirt, by the way. We're going to take, this is pale blue pepper. And we're going to take five strands of this. I'm going to set it at the bottom. Make sure I have enough. Sometimes you have to do that. And we're going to make a wrap just to hold it in place. Fold it over and check it. I always like it to when you fold it over to make sure it's even. Once I have it there, make another wrap, and then we're going to distribute this material. And five strands doesn't sound like a whole lot on this size jig, but... When it's uh, the thing with this is it contrasts, so it will stick out, which is why I'm only using five strands. I just want a little bit uh, something different. This is one of those jigs where you're fishing, it's, it's crowded, everybody's throwing a black blue jig uh, in heavy cover. You go by, throw this, it looks a little different, a little bit more visibility. Uh, I think it's going to get you that extra fish or two. And this head really, uh, they flare, the, the, the skirt flares really nice on this, so kind of happy with it. So now we have our five strands tied in. The next thing we're going to take is a full tab of black. Now this isn't the typical black, uh, this is what they call rubber, uh, classic rubber colors, and it's a matte black. It's not glossy at all. I don't know if you could tell. I really like this stuff, so we're going to use that. Again, on this, this pattern, I think works really well like that. And we're going to take our full tab of the black which is 22 strands, by the way. As I said, it's going to be a 60 strand skirt. I'm going to work that around until we have it almost all the way. We're going to leave a space in the front or in the top, however you want to look at it, on the top of that jig. And the reason we're going to leave that space is because we got an, another bit of black to put on there. Now with this head you have to kind of grab your 
skirt material so you can push it all the way up because of where it falls and again that's it's a little bit different but it makes it really good because it does cause a lot of flare so just this jig will have a, a real big presence in the water which I really like now our blacks tied in we're gonna take 11 strands more of the black and we're gonna put it on the top and work it around now we're gonna have to get a clip to hold our material in one of these little tiny hair clips they work pretty good and we're gonna work that around just to even it out a little bit once we have that we're gonna start buttoning her down a little more because we still got another color to throw on here yet. I apologize for taking so long. It's usually when I tidy these heads up, um, I'm not doing it on camera. Of course, you've never seen this one before. Um, it is a newer head for me, and the ones I have tied up, uh, when you're not doing it on camera, you don't have to worry about trying to make it visible for everybody. So I apologize for the way I'm doing it, but I'm making it ha look harder than what it actually is. So now we have that. The last thing to do is this. This is Nature's Edge Blue. And I, I like it, uh, if I wasn't going to use this, what I would use is uh, barbed wire blue. But barbed wire is a little bit, uh, it's a little bit lighter in the blue color. This I, I really like, it has a little bit different blue in it, and the the black print is, is subtle. It's there, but it, it's not um, against the blue background, it's not super prominent. we're going to work it around and with the blue on top is one of the reasons I call it blue on black most of the black blue jigs you'll see is the black on top or the bottom and uh, it's separated I like it that it's all through the jig I think it looks better I think it looks better in the water I don't know what the fish see I do know it works or I wouldn't be making them I think it's worth the extra effort, to be honest with you, to go through this. A little more labor intensive, but uh, when you catch a fish on it, you kind of think, yeah, it was worth it. We got to take our clip off here and. Uh, get that blue material buttoned down. As you can see, you get tangled up with it. Normally I use uh, bread ties, but I'm running out of those. So I only got one, which is going to be used for the front. Once I get her buttoned up real good. So we're getting close to the end here. All we got to do is make sure our collar is nice and tight. Or even all the way around. Because we want that flare.
and we're gonna whip finish it. But first, we're gonna wrap this material up. And we're gonna take our bread tie We're just going to keep that just down enough that we can get our whip finish tool around. Hopefully we don't trap no material. Two, three, four. Five, and six. We cut it close there, didn't we? One more time. One. I fell down. And six. Always when you get to the end. Again, I apologize for the, the hassle. Take our tie off. Get our thread up there, and we are good to go. Take our scissors. Make sure our material is all stretched out. Get it all cut. That's another thing. Um, I don't with this size jig. You don't have a lot of extra room, so you got to make sure you're at the the edge when you're cutting it up. And if you're wondering why I didn't put any head cement on this, it's due to the fact I usually don't have these very long. Uh, I'll get a few fish with it. I'll get hung up somewhere or something will happen. But I don't, on, on these heavy ones, I don't use it. Now, we got one last thing to do here. We're going to put a our weed guard in. And the weed guard I like for these is this. This is a, a fiber V guard, they call it. I used to get them at Barlow's. They stopped selling them. I don't think they sell a lot of these things. So uh, Lure Parts Online has them. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And you can use plain old regular weed guard, whatever. I like it on these heavier flipping jigs, though. I seem uh, not to get hung up as much. But when you're fishing around heavy stuff, nasty stuff, it's, it's going to happen. There's our V fiber weed guard. And again, when it's deep like that, it's not going to be a big deal. You could take a regular one and split it out. But that's what it looks like. I apologize for taking so long to tie that, but that is my version of black blue. I, I call it blue on black. The blue is kind of prominent, and you want to use a, a, a trailer for this. Again, I'm, I'm very partial to chunk type trailers. Uh, Zoom Super Chunk works really well. Uh, 
there's a few craws, there's a raid battle hog, uh, it's like four inches that works really well when threaded up. It just comes out the end. There it is. Three quarter ounce blue on black flipping jig. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.